Se inicia también la contratación de aproximadamente cinco personas locales para construir y desarrollar el proyecto que verán a continuación. Todo esto en Punta Robalo, Panamá. En el 2006, se finaliza la construcción del camino, el cual da ingreso a la propiedad, y a su vez se inicia la construcción de la casa sobre el agua, a partir del puerto. 2007. Se continúa el trabajo en el terreno y se reemplaza la cerca de madera por una de hierro y cemento, para asegurar la propiedad titulada. 2008 Después de las amenazas, el alcalde, MOP, junto con el gobierno de la isla Colón, bloquearon totalmente el paso sin dejar equipo y materiales de construcción ingresar a la propiedad. Pero eso no es todo. El alcalde nuevamente se comunica por vía telefónica y nos indica que la cerca no está en el lugar correcto, que la distancia no es la apropiada desde el agua y que si no se efectúa el pago de $5,000 más $200 por mes, echarán abajo la cerca. Son la peor plaga que existe aquí en Robalo.
This is what happens after you build a 50,000 hour road and you invest 250,000 hours in developing a piece of property in Isla Colon Bocas del Toro, which was all swampland. As you see now, we have built the road and after three years of hiring the people and doing everything we possibly could to be good neighbors, they then decided that, okay, you give us 5,000 hours or we are going to block your road and if that don't work, we're going to tear your fence down and we're going to put you out of business. As you can see from the movie, which is just part of what's going to be displayed, the first thing they did is they put a ditch across the road, which would not allow me for six months to enter. After that period of time, they got the government to go along with them, the local government to go along with them, that I could only drive a small truck down the road and not bring in any equipment to do any development. And then after that, since they did not get, I did not pay them off, then they decided, okay, you're fenced, you did not have a permit for it, which I had built, which all the people that worked for me worked actually and they took care of everything. They had the permits, they did everything legally, but then they decided that your fence is not legal, you didn't have a permit, and we're gonna tear your fence down come December 22nd of the year 2008. As of that time, I have no longer been able to really do anything because the road now is totally blocked. It's overgrown. The dock is completely gone. The house is falling in the water. And if you're looking at investing in this country, please contact me at 305-433-7923. I will guide you through the 